right, you guys, I'm going to show you how I have been making or how I made this batch of fenugreek oil. Now, these are fenugreek seeds, organic methy or fenugreek seeds that I purchased from Amazon.com. I will be linking it down below. Um, I'm familiar with fenugreek only because my husband is Ethiopian and when I do cook their traditional food, I typically use the fenugreek powder for certain dishes. So I'm going to show you guys, that's it in the drawer, I'm going to show you guys the oils I use. Now I have a lot of different oils. I was gifted some oils and I just had some oils on hand. So we have here Jamaican black castor oil, regular castor oil, sweet almond oil, olive oil, MCT oil and then we have hemp oil I also have argan oil it's somewhere down here actually it's over here yeah which I did not um, I did not put that in this mix so I put down here this is about three tablespoons of fenugreek seeds and I personally use Jamaican black castor oil sweet almond oil olive oil the MCT oil and I um, something else tea tree oil I use eight drops of tea tree oil now this was originally up to here okay I let it sit in here for three days and then I poured it into this applicator jar okay now you can see that it's a little it's a little thicker than what I would typically like my oils to be but I can correct that by adding some more sweet almond oil um, castor oil and olive oil tend to be a heavier oil so they're gonna be thicker your sweet almond oil grapeseed oil is another one that's great I don't do oil rinses it's just an extra step I will be adding it to my deep conditioner because I do use oil in my deep conditioner but if I forget it is what it is now I will be using this oil I'm gonna give it honestly I'm gonna give it a good 30 to, 30 to 60 days um, and I'll let you guys know I'll track my progress this is supposed to grow your hair and I'll let you guys know um, how it goes okay so hey you guys <clears throat> excuse my voice I'm getting over some allergies so now I'm on my second batch of fenugreek oil now one thing I do want to let you know is that I still have the first batch um, I have enough for honestly for about three weeks but I wanted to go back and add more black castor oil excuse me Jamaican black castor oil here is what I'm currently using. You can definitely tell the difference between the color. Um, this right here has quite a different bit of different oils. I will say that this oil mixture, in, in addition to having more Jamaican black castor oil, I also added avocado oil. I use less olive oil. I find that olive oil and avocado oil um, have the same type of uh, components that are beneficial for your hair. But I wanted to use a little bit more avocado oil and pull back some on the olive oil. Avocado oil is not as heavy too. It's um, a, a lighter consistency. I also added basil oil in addition to tea tree oil. Um, I do have hemp oil back there, you guys. Again, excuse my voice is cracking. I do have hemp oil, but I want to test it on my skin before I decide to add it to any oil mixture. I have not used that before. I'm telling you, I literally, I had a company send me some um, hair oils because I helped them on a project, and I am overflowing <laughs> with hair oil, with the most being castor oil. I just love castor oil. I have right now about a gallon. I'm not even... I can show you what it looks like. I have about a gallon of castor oil. Yeah. Anyway, what I plan on you doing specifically with this is I'm going to let this seep in hot water over the course of about 24 hours. Um, and I'm going to keep this in a very sunny area. Thankfully, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to keep it in a sun area uh, so it can get direct sunlight for a good five to seven days. So in the next two to three months, what I plan on doing, in addition to using this particular, I will be using it to um, do hot oil treatments and massages. Massages for your hair, we all know it's so good. So, and I also will be doing, um, using just a little bit, I would say one teaspoon of this. I know you guys are thinking that's not enough, but honestly, if I'm going to be doing massages, scalp massages, a teaspoon in my deep conditioner is just okay. In my opinion, that's okay. She's dry. Yeah, she's dry. So we're gonna go ahead and section my hair off to make it easier to apply these styling, styling products. Now I will be using water before applying anything in my great mister here, and I will be using oil to seal in my uh, the moisture. So you guys, I've been using, which will be a separate video. I'm gonna figure, figure out how to basically track this, but these are fenugreek seeds. 
and I've been using this oil now for about mm, about six weeks yeah so yeah so let's go ahead hey you guys so I am back today getting ready to do a pre poo using primarily fenugreek oil with a little bit of the vo5 hot oil treatment now my hair is very old like three weeks old i have some olive oil juice along with some water and a spray bottle that i'm going to be using to lightly mist my hair before applying the oil along with the leave-in cream now you guys i've been using fenugreek oil off and on for about a year as i stated earlier in the commentary i stopped there for about three or four months because i just felt like I was doing too much so I did pause for a minute but I'm back on it and I'm going to be usually exclusively using fenugreek oil along my edges and for my scalp I feel like my hair on the side here is thinning out some I really do and I noticed that a couple of months ago to be quite honest I know to y'all may not but I used to have hair growing all the way down here so yeah you can even see when I do this see how yeah that's a little, yeah, that's a little thin for me. Cause if you look on this side, I really don't have that problem. It's, it's starting to thin now, but even the middle of my hair, you can see, yeah. So thinning some on this side. All right, you guys, so let me hush up. I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning my hair off, spritzing it with the aloe vera juice concoction, and then applying the hair oil, okay? So continuing to add um, the oil to my hair now I do a hot oil treatment only once a month because I already add the fenugreek oil to my deep conditioner also I like to do my hot oil treatment before I shampoo my hair I just feel like if I shampoo my hair afterwards I'm able to get all of the oil out of my hair but I still have the added benefit okay so I left this particular again doing a um, a scalp massage, excuse me. I left this particular hot oil treatment on my hair for about an hour, then I rinsed it out. And as I stated earlier, I followed up by cleansing my hair with shampoo and then conditioning my hair, okay? Okay, you guys, so here are clips of my hair about four weeks after I started using fenugreek oil. Um, so not really enough time to notice a difference, but I just wanted to show you what my hair looked like. And this is my hair just about, well, last month. Yes, you can see how my hair is definitely fuller. It is healthy at a healthier um, place, in my opinion, than it was the previous year. So turn around to the back, you can see the fullness. So definitely, definitely, I do see positive results with a consistent regimen and incorporating fenugreek oil. Hey you guys, so I am back to give my final thoughts on using fenugreek oil. This is the mason jar that I kept my seeds in and the oil in, you can still see there's, girl, there's probably like one or two drops of the oil, but this is what the seeds look like. And of course I would toss this because this is done. So I have been using fenugreek oil now off and on for almost a year. Um, I had stopped there for about three months because I had some issues going on with my hair. So overall, I feel like fenugreek oil made my hair stronger. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be very honest. I don't know if it really helped my hair to grow. Um, uh, basically, I don't know if 
me using the fenugreek oil help my hair to grow as opposed to not using it however i definitely see the benefits my hair feels fuller it does feel healthier um it feels shinier you know you can see a natural sheen yeah i put some oil in it but there's a healthy sheen and shine to my hair that i appreciate of course yeah continue to use it on my edges weekly but scalp treatments absolutely as far as a hot oil treatment yes i do but i will say just try it for yourself you know you have nothing to lose but a little bit of more time um because like i said i do see the added benefits and i will continue to be a little bit you, that's the thing you guys you have to be consistent and it does help that i cut down on using a lot of different products i had used some really bad products there uh, mid-year and it set me back my hair and, and that unfortunate that's unfortunate be consistent with your regimen be consistent with your products don't try to do something that were will counteract your hair growth or whatever your hair journey so um yeah y'all that is it i hope you enjoyed this video take care bye